Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. This video is going to be very very important, very very useful because I haven't find this video in this YouTube ever. So the topic is uh, the overlapping units and overlapping topics between CSI Net Life Science Syllabus and ICMR BRET syllabus. ICMR BRET is again near and CSI NET is also very near. So at this present moment students are confused whether they should prepare for CSI NET life science or they are preparing for ICMR BRET examination. Now let me tell you, once you start the preparation for any kind of GRF examinations or PhD entrance examination, your preparation should be unified. It should not be separate for CSI net, separate for ICMR, separate for uh, uh, institutional PhD. No, because CSI net is uh, the top layer of the examination. The question paper difficulty level is the highest in CSI net. If somebody is preparing for CSI net, that person is already equipped to answer question related to ICMR. Brett, get life sciences and uh, other examinations, other institutional PhD examinations. But the only difference is that for any exam that you are attending, you need to solve previous year's questions related to that particular exam. That's all. That's all you need to do. That's why at Shamus Biology, we provide study material package, only one package. We, we, if we wish, we could have divided into different package and tell you different names of the different package. But in reality, we have one package and then one package is enough for CSI net preparation, for uh, ICMR bread preparation, for institutional PhD entrance preparation. So here in this video, I'm going to tell you uh, what are the topics that are similar, that are overlapping between CSI Net Life Science Syllabus and ICMR BRET, DHR ICMR BRET Syllabus. So here is the high yield overlapping topics. High yield topics. I'm not going to talk about every single topics, but the high yield topics. The topics from where they ask most of the questions in the examination is here in front of you with the help of this mind map. And if you wish to download this mind map, you can get it in Shomu's Biology application in-app download. Download Shomus Biology application, visit free study material section and you are going to find this high yield overlapping topics. Okay, so here uh, first I'll talk about the preparation strategy, the efficient strategy and I'll tell you to prepare your core subject simultaneously. Now we are going to talk about the overlap, like right? so when we talk about the overlap, we have two overlap, tire one and tire two. Tire one is the highest overlap and the weightage of the questions are the highest based on the past 10 CSI and life science question papers and past 10 ICMR question papers, okay? The foundational knowledge for highest overlap and weightage. And tire two is very important common topics which are providing a supporting core role to your preparation. Okay, and lastly, I'll talk about the ICMR bread specific emphasis. If you are preparing specifically for ICMR bread, then there are some key differences of ICMR bread questions compared to the CSI net questions. Although the syllabus is somewhere very much similar, the degree of complexity of the questions are little different. CSI net obviously is more complex compared to the ICMR bread. So uh, I'll go with the tire one highest overlap and weightage. Uh, foundational topics and units and the first one is biochemistry. Unit 1 in CSI net biochemistry here in ICMR bread and here which topics you need to prepare. You need to prepare enzyme kinetics, chem, Vmax questions, line weaver, Burke plots and enzyme inhibition types right competitive, uncompetitive, non-competitive, mixed inhibitions all this. Metabolism especially Carbohydrate metabolism, glycolysis TCA cycle, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, all this. Oxidative phosphorylation, electron transport chain and inhibitors of ETCs are important. Protein structures, uh, structural hierarchy, primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, Ramachandran plot, stabilizing forces in proteins, all are very important and a part of biochemistry. Next is molecular biology or unit 3. DNA replication, transcription, translation three big important topics. Then gene regulation, bacterial genetics, LAC operon, tryptophan operon, DNA repair mechanisms, DNA recombination, nucleotide excision repair, base excision repair, methyl mismatch repair and 
then recombination important. Cell biology unit 2 is also very very important. Cell cycle and cell cycle regulation, cycling CDKs, cell cycle checkpoints, role of P53 and retinoblastoma sensitivity protein, PRB, protein sorting, cellular sorting, cell uh, sorting and uh, signal sequences, okay, membrane transport, active, passive transport, ion channels, important. Next, cell signaling and immunology unit 4, signaling pathways, GPCR, receptor tyrosine kinase type, immunology basics, starting from the antibody structures, basics of inflammation and function of antibody, then uh, the different kinds of T cells and B cells activation, MAC class 1, class 2, uh, also important and also interleukins, their functions, their roles, uh, immune uh, response, hypersensitivity, complement systems, all are important. Apoptosis, intrinsic versus extrinsic pathway are important. So these are, so biochemistry, molecular biology, cell biology and cell signaling and immunology. These four units of CSINET, one, two, three, four, and these four topics for ICMR BRET examinations are highest overlap with maximum weightage in the examination. So absolutely prepare this. So those students who join us anytime for our CSINET online coaching, we always tell them that if you can't prepare any other topics, at least prepare four and that is unit one, two, three, four. And these are the four units that we started early that we prepare early with fresh mind. Tied to important common topics that provides a supporting role. So here we have methods in biology unit 13 in CSINET syllabus and genetics unit 8 as per CSINET life science syllabus. So methods in biology like molecular techniques, PCR, QPCR, western blot, southern blot, ELISA, RFLP, RAPD, the molecular marker techniques, all are important. Chromatography, size exclusion, ion exchange, affinity chromatography, all are important. Microscopy techniques, important. Spectroscopy techniques, Beer-Lambert law, CD, spectroscopy, then NMR spectroscopy, X-ray crystallography, these are all biophysical techniques which are very very important. Next is a genetics, uh, pedigree analysis, guaranteed questions from pedigree analysis, microbial genetics, conjugation, transformation, construction, important, math question from HFR, mapping and gene mapping in bacteria, important, Mendelian inheritance and extensions of Mendelian inheritance like epistasis, very very important, complementation, polygenic inheritance, non-Mendelian inheritance, X inactivation, okay, and also dosage compensation, X inactivation, same thing, and genomic imprinting. These are the topics and also part of the molecular genetics important, like DNA recombination, DNA mutations, okay. So these are supporting role playing important common topics, overlapping topics. So total four unit, one, two, three, four for the maximum weightage and then you need 13 and 8, two more units for supporting role. So total six units as per CS and life science syllabus that has the highest overlap between CS and life science syllabus and DHR, ICMR, BRET syllabus. Then the key differences that it would have in the ICMR BRET, especially you need to focus on biostatistics, particularly for section A, hypothesis testing like T-test, test, chi-square test, ANOVA. In CSINET also they ask question from T-test and chi-square test, but lesser, lesser common. Measure of uh, central tendencies and standard deviation or error calculation. Biostatistics is more important as per DHR ICMR BRET over CSAN net syllabus. Epidemiology and public health is also important for section A, studied designs like case control study, cohort study, cross-sectional study and the different terms like incidence, prevalence, something, all those important terminologies related to biostatistics in disease control are very, very important for ICMR bread. Medical microbiology and parasitology is also very important. Although this is a part of unit four, uh, of CS and life science syllabus where we talk about toxins, endotoxin, exotoxins, their effect and virulence factors. But here in the ICMR bread, pathogenesis of different pathogens and the diseases that they cause, plasmodium, leishmania, important, their life cycles, important. Okay, so that's something that is important here in ICMR bread specific emphasis. That's all you need to do. You know, you prepare the six units that are overlap. You need one, two, three, four. As per CSINET life science syllabus, unit one, two, three, four 
unit 8 and unit 13. So total 6 units have maximum overlap between CSI and life science and ICMR Brett examination. Apart from that, you go with the key differences, biostatistics and the statistical uh, nomenclature, epidemiology nomenclature and terminologies that is unique and specific to ICMR Brett syllabus. If you prepare it, you are already ready to go for the preparation. So if you are preparing right now or if you started preparing or if you are preparing just now for the examination of ICMR and CSI and NET, then at this moment you have one and a half month left I believe in for this examinations. Uh, prepare these six units, unit 1, 2, 3, 4, unit 8 and unit 13 earlier. If you prepare these six units earlier, you will be ready with the six units, 50% of the units of CSI net syllabus and you'll be ready with the ICMR bread syllabus because they have highest overlap between them. Okay, I believe this video helps you out. If this video helps you, please write that in the comment section and share this video. Subscribe to this channel so that other people also get to know about the video and you also get to know about the next video that we publish. And if you want to get this mind map, want to download it, then download Shomu's biology application. Inside the application, in the free study material section, you are going to find out this mind map in details. If you wish to get our study material, you can do that. If you wish to join our online coaching for CSI and Life Science for the next batch, admission is going on, you can join there too. If you want to get the, this, this particular mind map that we shared, then a download Shomu's biology application, go inside the free study material and you are going to find it. Next, if you want to get the study material package from us, the recorded lecture which is going to help you in ICMR, BRET, CSI, NET, Get Life Science. One package helps all, right? You can get it from Shomu's Biology. With five books, the price is 8,900. Without five books, the price is 7,900. Only five books, 3,900. That's the charge, that's what you can get from us. If you wish to get it, then contact the given number 9804654228. Visit our website www.shomusbiology.com where you can get a study material page. Uh, from that page, you can place the order or directly contact us over WhatsApp or call and find out the details of the package. If you like it, then you can proceed with the package which is going to help you and if you wish to join Shomu's Biology online coaching the registration for the next new batch of the coaching is going on so contact the given number for the upcoming new session of CSI and Life Science which is going to help you for not only CSI and Life Science but also get Life Sciences ICMR Brett okay as well as it's going to help you different institutional examination like uh, the ISARs, PhD in Trans Examination, IISC, TIFR, all these examinations. All the very best for the upcoming exam and wish you the best whether you take our material, join us or don't join us, but we wish you always the best from our side. This channel is there to help you with the free videos, more than 4,200 subjective free videos that you can get and read and prepare. And those videos are still valid because these are fundamental concepts. So stay tuned to this channel, like this video, subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends, family members and colleagues so that they get to know about this.